All right, y'all. So I wanted to come on here and show y'all. Somebody asked me a question about um, how do I keep my rainwater from turning into a mosquito farm? Y'all, I got some frogs in here. I mean, I had about three of them sitting on the ledge earlier today. But um, this stuff, ooh, that comfort. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That stuff is hard. But um, I wanted to come on here and show y'all the product. I'm not sponsored by them, nothing like that. Um, but this is what you're looking for. And they sell this at uh, Tractor Supply, um, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, and probably some other places. This company also makes some, um, some they're called bits. Instead of dunks, they're called mosquito bits. And it's in a, like a jug and they're like little pieces. It's the same stuff, but it's just broke up into little pieces. Um, now this says uh, it kills uh, mosquito larvae for 30 days or more. I find that that depends on how large of um, container you have because these last about three months for me. But you'll be able to tell because if you got mosquito larvae, you can see them swimming in there. Um, as you can see, it says for organic production or whatever. This is a biological control. That's why it's um, organic. So it's not chemical. So if you're worried about chemicals, then this is probably your best bet because the Amdro, if I'm not mistaken, is chemical. And I'm going to be honest with you and tell you, I used the Amdro one time and I tested it in one barrel. I didn't like it. It didn't last as long and I found it didn't really work that well. Um, however, these I find, like I said, in a, in a trash can this size, which is, let's see. It tells me how big this is. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's say 55 gallons. So in a trash can this big is 55, that one's smaller. This will last three months. It'll last longer in the smaller container that I have. So um, yeah, this is what I use. And I also prefer this because if you look, that container right there, that's low enough for Iris to drink out of. And I don't want her drinking anything that has um, chemicals in it. So this is just regular rainwater. There's nothing, oh my God, I gotta show you. There's nothing in this that, you know, um, that will hurt Iris or, or your pets or your livestock or whatever. So if you wanna put this in their water, so you're not breeding mosquitoes, but they'll be okay. This is perfectly fine. Um, Iris has drunk out of the thingies with this in it most, lots, lots, tons of times, countless times. Um, never any issues, whatever. When I tested the Amdro one, I, I knew it was chemical, so I tested it in one that she couldn't drink out of because I didn't want her drinking that stuff. So, um, so yeah, if there's a concern about that or say you got little kids and maybe they like to play in the water or whatever, this won't hurt them. Um, it's a bacteria that hurts the larva. It's not, it's not a, um, it's not one that'll hurt humans. I gotta show you, look at this. So this is, this is a grocery bag, right? And can you tell me what he's doing? Cat in a sack, cat in a sack. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing, Creasy? That was, I had to show you guys that. So yeah, so if you're looking for this, oh, and by the way, this runs about um, 10 bucks for six of them. I bought two because I have quite a few barrels. I'll have some left over. Um, they don't go bad or anything as long as you keep them dry or whatever. And you can kind of see where you can use them. Flower pots, tree holes, bird baths, roof gutters, rain barrels, old tires, unused swimming pool, animal water, and troughs. And it also tells you um, what's in it. So you see that uh, Bacillus sturgeon, that's basically BT that's in it. That's 10% of it. And the inner... Uh, ingredients is the rest of it which is almost 90 percent so yeah and i find it works good on the back it'll give you some more details how much surface area like how much you need one to five square feet that's why i just put one it will you really only you need a quarter of a dunk i go ahead and put one in there because i'm not going to take time to break these up but that's probably why it lasts me so long because that's what i'm putting it in is an even five square feet but one dunk will treat 25 to 100 square feet. So if you got big troughs or whatever, um, it'll work like that. I hate the water so dark so that you guys can't really see. But can y'all see all this stuff swimming in there? That's because my dunk ran out. So um, I'm going to try to rip this open. Yeah, I'll get it one hand. So the, it, it has this little round thing that you just kind of rip off. And then um, 
you just kind of, of course, it's going to be easier with two hands, but uh, you just push it, push it out from the front. There you go. If you have bits, you just unscrew the, um, unscrew the top and uh, see if I can see it. Y'all see, can y'all see them? Y'all see all that stuff swimming in there? So I ain't gonna lie, I did this on purpose so that I could kind of, I let I let my dunks go out for about two days, so y'all can see just how many larvae you'll get in about two days. Cause like two or three days ago, I didn't have any larvae in here, but you don't really see them gathering around it yet. You see a few of them, but after a while, you'll see those suckers. They'll be eating on that thing, and they don't even know it's killing them. And it won't hurt the tadpoles either, cause I still have tadpoles in here. If y'all see all that movement in the water, they have tadpoles. So. go and that's all you got to do and sometimes they will sink over time but i don't usually let that bother me if i if i don't see any larva i know that it's still working um but if i if i um if i start seeing mosquito larva i know it's time to get some dunks or put some more in i usually keep some it rained not too long ago so I think that's another reason why there's a lot of mosquito larvae. It rained overnight. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's three of them done. And, uh, and that's pretty much how you do that. It's, it's not rocket science at all. Um, if you got any kind of rain water barrels, I would highly suggest this because if you don't, I promise you, especially if you live in the South, the mosquitoes will come by and pick you up and carry you away to an undisclosed location to suck your blood dry. Um, go. That one fell out pretty easy. Easier than I thought. So, while I'm on camera, I'm just going to do the last of this container so I can throw it away. Yeah. Let's see if I, they're all swimming away. But let's see, this water's clear. See how they have legs now? And some of them have front legs. See that one down there? He's got front legs. But they still have a tail. See all of them? They're almost ready. They're almost ready. And when they get ready, they'll, they'll hop up here and stand up here sometimes. And then um, when I come, they'll jump down on the ground. And I know that must be like jumping off a building for them. But, um,. I like, the, I like the toads and frogs. It's about to rain. I thought I was going to water, but it's raining now. It's sprinkling a little bit. I know y'all can't. Alright, so that's all my big ones. I'm going to take care of the little ones with the other ones. Let's still have one, two, three. I have like three. Three more. Yeah, it's, 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 it's about to rain. It's raining harder now. I didn't even notice it. Don't rain it. It's raining and the sun is out. I wonder if I can catch it where you guys can see it. Y'all bear with me. I'm trying to make videos that are at least 10 minutes. If you can't see it, it's weird. Look at Chris. Crazy. But can you hear it though? Hear it hitting the trees? Well, you can, you can see it on that tire. I gotta move these to the back because I'm gonna fill them with the uh, soil and stuff. But the skies are weird right now. It's kind of doing that Florida thing that I hate. It rains with the sun out and rains on and off and all that kind of stuff. My melon holder's holding up. But I hear some thunder though. So maybe it'll keep raining and I won't have to water today. I'll get a break. But I'm gonna let this be the end of the video because I'm getting wet. The phone's getting wet. So, um, until next time, I will see you guys later.